presidency from uh, 1st of July will be marked by continuity and also linked to the three CBSS long-term priorities. And we hope to make our presidency relevant uh, in the context of climate action and post-pandemic recovery. And we will seek to strengthen the synergies with other cooperation formats in the region. We are going to focus on green transformation through information sharing of best practices in both industry, transport, clean energy, and circular economy. Uh, the industry, of course, is already adapting, often with massive investments in new technology. And we should aim towards turning our region into a successful innovation cluster in areas such as hydrogen, battery technology, offshore wind, carbon capture and storage, and low emission shipping. We all share the vision of climate neutrality, and we must ensure that uh, this can be achieved without detriment to our industrial capacities competitiveness, skills, and employment. And we will also look for new ways to engage young people. And uh, speaking from experience, when we made our white paper on Arctic policies, we engaged a youth panel of 50 young people who not only gave very valuable input, but they also drove their own agenda. So I think it's important for us uh, in our presidency as well, not only to talk to young people, but to let them talk to us and to engage in a real dialogue. Our main task and responsibility is this coming year will be to uphold CBSS as an effective and relevant organization, both for political dialogue and practical cooperation. The permanent secretariat carries out the daily activities of the organization very effectively and also plays an essential part in our work. And I would like to thank Director General Bosansky and his excellent team for the work that they do. And I look forward very much to cooperate closely with you.